family had to come and sit underneath the fan. So look, um, Trump has had a hero's welcome in Milwaukee. You see what happens when you try to erase people and you try to rub them out? They rise even bigger. Talk about Phoenix energy. Good heavens. Anyway, he went to Milwaukee. He was greeted like a rock star. He had his um, thing on his ear, his bandage on his big, big white bandage and clear wrap, you know, clear thingy tape attached to his ear, you know, showing his war wounds and said, I'm here. <clears throat> I'm here. Amber Rose gave a really good speech. It was really, really good. I didn't know Amber was like that. And I also didn't know that, um, well, was it like that? I didn't know Amber Rose uh, was a Trump supporter, but I definitely knew that um, she was conservative because her family, most um, people that look like her from Cape Verde are quite conservative. So it is what it is. So she gave a very good speech and um, he had a hero's welcome back. And you know, because the thing about it is, this man should have died. He should have died. But it looked like God had other plans. And I heard that phrase this morning when there was a girl in Oakland who was a rapper and she was shot yesterday. She had a, um, she, she opened a boutique or something. But the weirdest thing about it is she had shot her baby father in a domestic violence related incident like a year before and they let her out on witness protection and for so and but hold on she wrote a diss track dissing and and the cover oh my word i'll do a separate video on that but what i'm trying to say to you is um <laughs> boy oh boy oh boy i forgot the point but here here is trump and um you can't kill him. You, it looked like you can't kill him. It looked like right now he's invincible. And guess what? He defied the the Simpsons, you know, the Simpsons predictions that said that he should have died. So hold on. Because if that if that bullet didn't only just graze his ear, just this little piece of his ear was grazed. Suppose it, it was a few more centimeters or an inch or two to the left or to the right. It would have either taken out somebody else, another innocent person, or it would have killed him, shot to the head. Now, there was some dodgy looking woman behind him. And I don't know, I don't know what, what y'all think and I don't know why, but for some reason she kind of looked she looked like an agent, number one. She looked like intelligence, like like high intelligence, but she also looked like she came from foreign intelligence. It's interesting. I'll do a video on that, but anywho. Trump gets a hero welcome at the Republican convention. Former president greets. If you're waiting for your reading, it will be done in the next few hours, okay? Former President greets cheering fans with a bandage on his ear just two days after assassination attempt. And again, him with the with the fist. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that fist, baby. Mm. Isn't it funny how symbols have come to take on different meanings? throughout time my god that man got up and he, he, he went like this because he heard zzz, zzz. he went like this the next minute he was like that and he went like this your 80s babies your 60s 70s 80s babies know what that means that fist means f you i ain't going nowhere me and I'm standing you couldn't do it you can't do it I'm standing there's a song by Sizzler and I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if he would like me using the, 
in this kind of video. I'm so solid as a rock. You just can't stop me now. Even when they set their traps, you just can't stop me now. People can say this and that, but they just can't stop me now. So he had a bandage on his ear. I'm gonna show you the picture. Dare I say he looked cute? <laughs> For God's sake. Uh, here's the picture, okay? <laughs> There's a bandage in his ear. Now y'all have to remember, this is an old man. He's an old guy. And to have this much strength in him, mental strength and physical strength, you got to applaud it. You, I mean, how can you not admire the physical and the mental strength? Again, here we go with that fist. My God, my God, my God. And here are the Secret Service agents, these two that leapt in quickly. These two did leap in quickly. And I believe these two are about their business. And if there was any kind of insight, if there was any kind of fly in the ointment plucked from the other side, these two didn't have nothing to do with it. Otherwise, they'd have to be the greatest actors in the world. Okay, so I'm going to show you the picture. Okay. And I'm referring to this agent here, him, and this agent here. Okay? You can see they're clearly about their business. They're not trying to hear nobody talk about, oh, it was a plot from the inside, you know, from the inside and you know, Secret Service looking kind of weird now. Where they were, they were at the front of the stage. One was kind of here and these two guys in particular, one was here, one was here, and they both swooped in. They, them two swooped in. Now, I was listening to Candace Owens yesterday and also there's some talk on Twitter. There's quite a lot of talk and criticism for the three Secret Service ladies. And I don't like that at all. Okay, so I'm going to do... I did a video on it yesterday. But I'm going to do another one today. Okay, and probably upload that one. And maybe the other one I'll put on TikTok or something like that. But the three ladies are now coming in for criticism. Talking about fumbling, grappling, slowness, this, that and the other. Somebody... And they were also... One of them was also described as... Obese. <laughs> like what? Anywho, these two Secret Service guys are about their business. Okay, you can even see from the way that their eyes are looking. Because there have been so many jokes on TikTok and so on about, hey, come to the hood. I promise you, come to the hood, get 15 to 20 of these guys. Trump, come to the hood and come hire 15 or 20 of these guys. You will never have this problem again, etc., etc. You heard about 50 Cent. They were saying 50 Cent was supposed to be at the rally yesterday. Many men wish death upon Trump. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 trying to take his life away. So that became kind of like a theme song on TikTok. And a lot of content creators have been making some kind of hilarious, you know, skits and things like that in regards to it. But it's a serious situation because America, I don't know if you realize, but you may be on the brink of civil disturbance. And that type of thing spread like a rash. It spread like a rash. So from my advice is that you're planned from now. This is a situation that them preppers are talking about when they talk about the shit hitting the fan. Them preppers 
We talk about how much baked beans and flour and cornmeal and, and army dehydration packs that they got there in the basement and all this type of stuff. <laughs> Gatorade stocked up, you know, packets of ranch and, and all this kind of stuff and how not to get weevils in your rice and this, that and other. Them folks, y'all will listen to them folks right now because if there is civil disobedience and civil disturbance, it's going to spread from state to state to state. It's very likely. It's also going to spread in the UK as well. It's going to go like a rash, right, like wildfire through the through Europe. Them boys going to be all them boys going to be and them girls going to be out on the streets. And 2024 is going to be a real anus horribles. So make your plans, listen to them preppers, or you might need to get them out of some of these big cities. I'm just saying. I'm gonna come back in a minute, let me eat my breakfast. We'll soon come. Ashe, this has been about Trump in Milwaukee. And some dodgy lady who was behind him, kind of giving some kind of Mediterranean or some foreign intelligence agent his agents who were about their business no criticism about them whatsoever from me because i saw how they responded like that okay and then also i'm going to come back talking about them three ladies because i've been i mentioned them three ladies in two videos already so i want to focus on them a bit more and what Candace Owens is saying because she says she's enlightened and she know a lot but she clearly don't know about females in the military and female governmental special agent um, groups and uh, and and so on throughout the world. We can only use we can use many many different people as examples from North Korea to Gaddafi and whatever. You might not want to compare. You might you might say this is not. I'm not comparing like with like, but actually I am because what Candice was Candice was saying is that she was referring to strength and that we need to stop messing around with this equality shit and just give men men's jobs. I have an issue with that. So I'll come back with that later on. Okay, and that ain't got nothing to do with the divine feminine. But there's different types of strength, there's skills and techniques that these women in female-led armies and units and security units across the world that they know that perhaps them three ladies Could, you know they could benefit from that type of thing so it's not about the fact that they were female it's about the fact it's the kind of training that they had okay so I'll come back later on let me eat my breakfast Ashe. abundance